going on guys? Thank you so much for joining us today on yet another video tour here in El Paso, Texas. Now we've been having a lot of clients that are relocating into El Paso and we wanted to make another tour of West El Paso. Now this particular home that I'm in has a pool over 2000 square feet. This is conveniently located near central area. Now, the reason why this might be important to you and your family is because it is close access to UTIP. You're going to have a ton of restaurants nearby. You're going to also have access to the trails nearby. We're very close to the Franklin Mountains. Overall, you have a prime location here in the west side of El Paso. And in today's video, I really just want to talk about three key components that I've had a lot of our clients really ask in terms of what it is that they're seeking for in El Paso. And I just want to use this as a quick reference for you if you are considering either looking to buy in El Paso, maybe you're looking to actually um, relocate, whatever the case might be, definitely consider the following. Number one is going to be, what do you want to do? And this is what I mean by that. Realistically speaking, people are going to try and sell you on a house. They're gonna try and sell you on the price point. And although those things, I mean, obviously they're important when it comes to what you're willing to pay for the house. I think the prime question that you should always ask yourself is, what are my end goals? If you're looking to have this house for, let's say, I don't know, five years, and this is a property that you want to maybe have as an investment property later down the future because you're going to upsize and get a bigger property, you wanna consider what is the end goal for that property? I had recently a client that was looking to buy a property as their first time property, but they were considering upgrading within the next, usually it's between three to five years, but they were trying to stretch it to the five year mark. With that being said, I told him, we wanna find an area where the values have consistently shown that they are increasing. This does not take rocket science, guys. A lot of people overcomplicate it. And honestly, that's something that I feel like a lot of the reasons why people don't invest in real estate, they feel like if the sky is falling and the gurus in terms of the media are telling you don't buy, then you just stay out of the race and you let other people take advantage of the market. Here's the thing, regardless of your situation, keyword here, if you're able to afford buying, you you want to invest in real estate. This is like the number one thing that as years pass, as decades continue to show the numbers, you are investing your money in something that is guaranteed to get your return as time passes, right? This is the key part there because a lot of people think I'm gonna buy a house and in two years guaranteed I'm gonna walk with a profit. That's not true. So this is super important to figure out what is your end result. Although that has happened, I actually had some clients, military folks, relocated into El Paso. It happened around the time of the the, right before the pandemic happened. So by the time they were going to sell, they actually increased their value significantly and they walked away with about $20,000. But the reality was that they are situations that are not going to be like the comparison to everybody because then now you're betting on the market conditions versus betting on the property, betting on real estate doing what it does, which is compound interest, right? Compound time of what it is that you're investing in is going to yield a return as the time passes. So that's number one. Number two, and this is super important, is going to be to actually focus on what is it that you are looking to invest in the property. Here's what I mean by that. So let's say you're talking to some agencies and they're telling you, hey, so this is how much you can afford. Let's just use an example, 500,000. Well, simply because you can afford 500,000 doesn't mean you probably wanna use the full amount or perhaps you're not satisfied with the 500,000 and maybe you want a little bit more. Knowing what it is that you're looking to buy is super important because the last thing you want is to rush yourself into a decision and at the end of the day, regret it. A lot of people, they wanna push you to buy, but the reality is they should be guiding you. They should be telling you what is in your best interest. Now, when the time comes, and it's when, not if, when the time comes, and it's the time for you and your family to buy, you know what realistically is going to work for the budget because you already ran an application, you knew what numbers you needed to actually hit, 
in order for you to buy the property that you want. That is super important in your journey. Now, the last thing I want to emphasize after you know what your end goal for the property is, whether it's gonna be an investment, whether it's gonna be a long-term property for yourself, whether it's going to be for something you wanna pass down to maybe your kids because they're gonna start you know, the university. You figured out what the goal is, you figured out your numbers, Number three is super important, and this is something a lot of people don't consider, and this is where your research, talking with the right people really comes into play, truly is going to be your location. Location, you hear it all the time, location, location, location. You can always add upgrades to your house, you can always make your home feel like your home, but you can never change the location of that property. That's just basic common sense, right? The reason I say this is because I've had a lot of clients that have had agents in the past that have told them, oh, well, if you buy in this specific area, I'm gonna use an example, Socorro. Beautiful brand new house, great price per square foot, everything you need, okay, great. It, on paper, the house looks fantastic. But then the commute is too far from what they're actually willing to you know, commute back and forth. This is super important in any decision you're making because yes, maybe you're getting a great price for the house, but is it really worth the exchange of the commute, maybe the extra hour that you're going to be commuting every single day? And if there's traffic, that's not a fun situation to be in. This is something that I always encourage you to consider because maybe it doesn't have all the bells and whistles that you want, but if the location is right, it has the square footage that you need, it has the bedrooms that you need, you can always upgrade the amenities in order for it to truly fit the goal that you want out of your property. This is super important in your journey, guys. Again, you don't wanna be sold, you truly wanna be guided. This is the reason why a lot of our clients continue to come back year after year, um, whether it's recommending us, whether it's them looking to actually invest in another property, because you wanna work with somebody that truly has your best interest at heart. I literally, not too long ago, had a conversation with somebody for over two hours, and we ended up deciding that maybe her best route was to stay in New Mexico. We compared everything. She was really interested in El Paso. She really saw the opportunities, the growth, the development. But in terms of what she was really looking for, it was New Mexico. So I encouraged her, I told her, hey, I have some agents out in New Mexico. We work with agents throughout the US. Anything you need, I can connect you with the right person. They are vetted by us to ensure that they're gonna give you the best service overall. But at the end of the day, it wasn't about making a person buy something in an area that they're not going to be happy with long-term. This is super important for you because at the end of the day, if you're not in that location, let's say I'm looking to relocate to, I don't know, Houston, um, Oklahoma, whatever it is, and I don't know the area, I'm doing you a disservice by just telling you what you wanna hear because you told me this is your price point versus telling you everything you need to compare in terms of your commute, in terms of what realistically is gonna work for your family. I had actually another client recently, I relocated offices and one of the persons that works there was telling me, he was like, hey, um, I'm actually looking to buy a property, I'm looking to invest for the first time, can you share with me what your thoughts are in this property? So it was in a different area, it wasn't in El Paso, and as I was looking at the numbers and I was looking at everything, I was like, look, honestly, I would encourage you to get in touch with the local expert in that location. I can get you in touch with somebody because the numbers were really low. The location for the property, as far as like the condition of it, obviously it was like a distressed property because he was looking to flip it. It was sounding too good to be true. So I told him, just do your research. I have seen a lot of places where you get sold into the idea of this is a marvelous area, a lot of opportunity for development, but then in that transition, it's still not what you're looking for. So needless to say, he actually ended up not going through with that offer because he did a little bit more research and he found out that the area was actually not what he was expecting. So again, finding out the location of where you're looking to relocate is super important. And if you're just watching these videos because you just wanna know what's going on with El Paso, I appreciate your support. I've heard some people sometimes say like, you know, I enjoy the videos, I see how much development has happened in El Paso, that's awesome. And then we have the opposite side, right? I don't know what coin you're in, um, but essentially some people, you know, that they say, well, like the price per square foot in what you're paying now versus what it was back then. Guys, 
guys, I hear you. I, if I could control it with my magic wand and say, hey, prices are gonna stay at where they're at, obviously um, we don't have that opportunity. We don't have that privilege to just say this is what it's gonna stay at. But I wanna encourage you to have perspective when it comes to that. I feel like coming from the background that I came from, I came from very humble beginnings. Uh, everything I've worked for, I've built myself. And I share that sometimes we feel like prices going up in an area is very negative, right? We feel like, oh my gosh, they're trying to push us out. But the reality is, and this is with anything, right? There's pros and there's cons. And as long as you're working hard to continue to develop yourself and your skills, you're going to also be able to appreciate the fact that your home values are going up because your asset is appreciating through time. That's just my perspective now. I know once upon a time, I didn't see it that way, but as you continue to grow and involve in your skills and what you're offering, whether you're, I don't know, uh, a doctor and you're you know becoming a specialist with something specific so that you can actually charge more per hour, whether you're embarking on a new journey for whatever it is that you're looking to expand into, your skill set is going to have a direct correlation with what you're generating. And a lot of times people, you know, don't like to hear that, but this is why I'm a firm believer that we need to develop ourselves. We need to continue to grow. We need to continue to invest in the biggest asset that we have, which is yourself. So I just wanted to put that out there because I've seen some comments and I just wanted to address that really quick. But with that being said, let's check out this listing. So we are checking out some listings out in West El Paso, in particular the 79932. We've been having a lot of clients relocating and they're looking to just have more space. Now this still not being compromised by location. So in the 32 in particular, there's a ton of opportunities. The lots are a lot bigger. You're still close proximity to the Franklin Mountains. If you have not seen our recent videos talking about some of the amenities that are out in the West Side, I highly encourage you to stick around for the rest of our playlist. But with that being said, today we're gonna check out three listings. They're all in the same area. Two of them are gonna be in the 79932. For those of you that don't know El Paso zip codes, I'll have my videographer add like a little section map here so that you can kind of know where you're looking to live. And also the one two is gonna be another zip code we're gonna check out. So 799. 1179912, is my simple guide for a lot of my clients to just realize that's the west side. And we've talked about other zip codes on this channel. So if you have any questions, please feel free to let us know. We also want to give you some free resources at the end of this video. So if you're interested in that, check out the description so that we can actually give you a few resources that have been super helpful for some of our clients. And apologies if I'm making my intro on my car right now, but I did the introduction inside and my microphone wasn't working and it's super windy outside. So I was like, let's do it this. Let's do this again. Anyways, guys, let us know what you guys think. Let's check out these houses and let's get to it.
Okay, so out here in this subdivision, we're gonna have super close proximity to a park, literally two houses down from that first house we just checked out. And I just wanna kinda give you guys an idea of how the neighborhood looks like, what the other houses look like. I know that's something extremely important. When I relocated, I was looking to just be in an area where I felt safe and I felt like my boys could come outside or I can take a jog if I wanted to. So here is a little bit about what we can expect in this 79932 zip code. As you can see, the houses and neighborhood is extremely taken care of. And I know that's something super important for a lot of my folks that are looking to relocate. They just want to feel safe. So um, excuse the mess sometimes because there's a lot of wind right now going on. So I just want you guys to kind of get an idea of what we are going to be um, checking out today. Okay, so this is going to be house number two. And this is a new built home. Okay, so as we come in, don't mind the mess right now. The builder is actually doing some staging on this house, but the lot itself is over 9,000 square feet, guys. It is a full three bedroom with a bonus room, and I'll show you guys in a second what the bonus room looks like. The property is listed for 525, 300, and this property, I mean, honestly, it just speaks for itself. Let's finish checking it out and let me know what you guys think. Over to this left side, as you walk in, as we saw the little court area, but over here is going to be your master bedroom. Your shower, your tub, vanity. I don't know about you guys, but I like when the vanity is long like this versus like the other one we saw. Don't get me wrong, it looks really nice, but something about just having it all there together versus like separate, I don't know, I feel like you get more space, but that's probably just my opinion. So don't, don't even pay attention to that. <laughs> okay, and then over here, so the rest of the bedrooms are on that side which we'll check out shortly, but this is what I was calling the bonus room. And a lot of people, so we actually had a client, it was a different builder that they bought, but they actually turned this into their theater room. So whenever people would come over for Sunday cookouts or the game, this is all they had access to. Um, which was really nice because again, they don't have to go in through the rest of the house if you don't want them to. And here conveniently is a bathroom. So if you decided to make it obviously a mother-in-law suite, she would have her bathroom or he would have the bathroom here and no tub. So I know a lot of people sometimes get concerned about that. I recently bought another house and that was one of my concerns since I take care of my grandparents, as you guys probably know if you follow the channel. Um, this is something that for me I was like really adamant about trying to find just something that she wouldn't like fall and things like that so it's nice that the tub isn't there here's your laundry room and again there's a mess right now because they are finalizing some staging so apologies for that here is the other bathroom I love when the builders add the little pocket there for your shampoos because as we all know, sometimes it can be super inconvenient to buy those rods and then they look super weird. I don't know, at least that's what I have noticed in my house. I don't like having the rods. And in case you guys didn't notice, the carpets are the upgraded version of the carpets. A lot of builders, they like to include some very basic material and this one you can really feel the quality difference. So just wanted to point that out because as we see the rest of the houses, um, you'll notice like the difference in between every single builder and like the quality. So with that being said, we're all done here. Oh, before, no, we're not done, Alexa. Let's show the backyard, duh. Okay, so remember we talked about this area and a lot of the clients, the reason they like the area is because of the lots. So the lots, I know that's a big deal for a lot of clients. 
and a lot of them they're like we want a pool but we still want to have some grass area well this is something very convenient and if you have you know maybe some quads or things of that nature that maybe you're going to need to have access to parking um, a lot of the times people just like the fact that they have a little bit more space on the side so definitely a plus for a lot of clients that are looking to relocate and have just a bigger overall lot without compromising on some of the amenities okay let's head over to our last tour property number three okay so we're gonna be in a cul-de-sac I don't know about you guys, but I love cold sacks. It just feels a little more private. And this is the beauty. All right, let's go and check it out. So we just came inside and I just have to say right off hand, do you guys see these views and do you see this natural sunlight? I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I have a ton of clients that that's like the first thing that they're looking for. I have not turned on any lights yet. And I was like, nope, I'm just gonna make a video really quick showing the natural light because this is just amazing. So here we're going to have, we said we're gonna make the obvious comments, your kitchen <laughs> with your quartz, your barn sink, we're gonna have your dishwasher over here, your oven, and then over here, we're gonna have a separate nook for your pantry. Okay, so they actually added tile in this garage. How crazy is that? Okay, so over here, we're gonna have one section of the house. So we have your laundry room area, and then you're gonna have a doggy bathroom. It's not a bathroom, Alexa, it's a little shower. So anyways, and then over here, I don't know about you guys, but it's always super helpful to have a bedroom downstairs when it's a two-story house and there's one right here so if you guys have like maybe your mother-in-law living with you um, I'm Latina so I have the culture where a lot of our grandparents or parents live with us and um, yeah this is like perfect like right away I start thinking like oh this would come in handy and then over to the opposite side of the house is going to be your master. So again, I have not turned on any of the lights yet. Well, now I did, but at first I had it. <laughs> um, but essentially, I mean, look at this natural light. I like this because it's actually not like the first house that we saw. Remember how it was like, like separated, but one of the things had less space. So this one has more space. And then you have like your little vanity over here. And then the closet on this house is a lot bigger. Where is your light? Oh, sorry guys, hold on. I'll have my videographer edit that part so it can look better. Okay, so here is a closet, which is definitely a lot bigger than the other closet we had seen. Why? Well, I wanna hear your thoughts. And then over here, your shower. Okay, let's head over and check out the rest. Oh, I wanna point out your actual wall texture because this is an upgrade. This is something that not all the house are going to come with. Okay, let's check out the rest. Okay, so as soon as you come inside, you're going to see over to your left, your loft area you're gonna have another bedroom. And again, like, I have not turned on any lights, guys. And this is all the natural light. I have a client that she literally has a plant obsession. And um, when we first were looking for her house, she was like, I need a lot of windows. And um, 
the natural sunlight, obviously for a lot of my clients, it's like super important. So this is going to be the fourth bedroom. And let's just appreciate the views, guys. Those are your views. Oh my God. Beautiful. Okay. And let's check out the last section over here. It's going to be like a little storage room area. And of course, your bathroom. All right, guys, so that concludes our tours for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did my very best to just include as much information as possible from the different areas. On this last area, this is going to be closer to the west side. So the other locations we saw, the lots are going to be a little bit bigger, but overall, you can get a very big size lot over in the west, exactly in the, nine, in the 79912, 79911 and not compromise on the lot. If you're looking for it, we just need to find that. So with that being said, thank you so much for continuing to support the channel. If you guys have any questions, please let us know. And I will have my assistant add all the information on the bottom of our video so that this way, if there's anything that you guys want to actually maybe talk about in the next videos or maybe even have um, any questions that maybe you want to have addressed, let us know. But with that being said, as always, I hope you're having a fantastic and blessed day and I will talk to you guys soon.